hi welcome to this channel you have this nice exponential question here 10 exponent 3x minus 10 exponent 2x equals 10 exponent x we're going to find the value of x okay let's get started so i'll start by bringing this 10 exponent s here and equate the equation to zero so i'll have 10 exponent 3x minus 10 exponent 2x minus 10 exponent x equals 0. Okay. This is 3 exponent x. This is 3x, 2x, and x. So I can easily split because we have x here. I can easily get 10 exponent x from this 2x and this 3x. So I will do it like 10 exponent 2x plus x minus 10 exponent x plus x minus 10 exponent x and this is equal to 0 from indices this means that 10 exponent 2x times 10 exponent x minus 10 exponent x times 10 exponent x minus 10 exponent x and this is equal to 0 this is very interesting okay so now i have 10 exponent x 10 exponent x 10 exponent x 10 exponent x it simply means that an exponent x come on so we can easily factorize 10 exponent s out so if 10 exponent 10 is out it means we have 10 exponent 2 x here because this is 10 exponent x we are multiplying minus 10 exponent x minus 1 and this is equal to 0 okay so this simply means that we have 10 exponent s to be equal to 0 or 10 exponent 2x minus 10 exponent x minus 1 is equal to 0 we can introduce logarithm so log 10 exponent x is equal to log 0 since we are having log 0, it means this is undefined. Undefined. So we ignore this and tackle this one. Let's come here. We have 10 exponent 2s minus 10 exponent s minus 1. We want to find for the value of x. So 2x is here. So I will write this as 10 exponent x or squared. 10 exponent x all squared minus 10 exponent x minus 1 is equals 0. From indices, they are the same. Alright. So I have 10 exponent x here. 10 exponent x. So I can easily let a certain variable. Let me say y equals 10 exponent x. They do to be y squared minus y minus 1. This is equal to 0. So we arrive at the quadratic equation. We then solve it for the values of y. So y will be equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So my a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, c is equal to negative 1 this is equal to minus minus 1 plus or minus root minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all divided by 2 times 1 okay so this will be equal to 1 plus or minus root this will be 1 so negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is positive and this will be 5 so it's 1 plus 4 divided by 2 and this is equal to 1 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2 okay so from here we're gonna have y to be equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 or another one equals 1 minus root 5 equals 2 but 
we know that y is equal to 10 exponent x and so this will be 10 exponent x equals let's tackle this one first 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 so log 10 exponent x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 okay so here will be x log 10 sorry log 10 equals log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 I'll divide both sides by log 10 and I'll have x to be equal to log 1 plus 5 divided by 2 all divided by log 10 so x will be equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 log 10 will be 1 because the base is 10 so log 10 base 10 is 1 so this will be and we will have log 1 plus 5 root 5 minus log 2 so x will be equal to 1 plus root 5 is 3.236 minus log 2 so this is equal to log 3.236 is 0 0.51 minus 0 0.301 so this is equal to 0 0.209 as the first value of x you know that y is equal to 10 exponent x 10 exponent s equals 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 okay so taking log of both sides we have log 10 exponent s equals log 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 so i'll have x log 10 to be equal to log 1 minus root 5 all divided by 2 this will be 1 so x will be equal to log 1 minus root 5 minus log 2 